You begged, you pleaded. You offered us all manner of enticements, some of which we think may be illegal in some countries. We took this to mean that you just really wanted TweetDeck on your Android device, and we agreed. So without farther ado, we are delighted to announce that a beta version of our Android app is now officially available. And here you can see it. That was a quote on TweetDeck's website. Uh, it was tweetdeck. Or it's www.blog.tweetdeck.com slash tweetdeck dash on dash android dash com dash and dash get it. I'll link it down there. This is TweetDeck for Android. This is the official beta. Now there was a version being leaked uh, yesterday that was not the official one, so this one has a lot of improvements over that one. Uh, one being it fits on smaller screen sizes. So when you first download the app, uh, you will see this screen. It will say add Twitter, add Facebook, add Buzz, and add Foursquare, or sign into TweetDeck. So I will add my Twitter account. It is Carlos Graves. Let me do my password over here. Okay, so I entered my password. Click sign in. It'll say verify an account. There I am. Uh, let's add Facebook. Why not? And there you can see Facebook is added as well. Now, I have to say, just straight up, I'm not a fan of this application. Straight off the back, font is way too big. You can only see about three tweets per, per uh, swipe. Sometimes you can see four, but that's cutting off a little bit. Uh, it is smooth and everything, but I just think the font size is too big. And, I don't know, it just doesn't add a lot of functionality when you don't have small font so you can see more tweets. Another thing that I am uh, a little bit disappointed about is that they didn't add the column views. Now you may think this button down here is for your column views, so you can just swipe between the different columns uh, and see them like the iPhone application, but no indeed this is just your accounts. But no, it doesn't have column view yet, but it does have just swiping to get your at replies. Uh, here are some tweets about it. Using it right now, not bad, but I would really like some more customization. Uh, I hope the final version has some notification settings. This is annoying. Yes, that is another thing that I will address right now. There is no settings in the application. There are only add your account, get right to it. Uh, it does have notifications, but for someone like me who doesn't really like notifications, that can be annoying. And then you swipe another way to get to your direct messages. Don't want to show you those. So now that you've seen just the simple interface of it, uh, I'll take you along the bottom. This is new tweet. This is your accounts. This is search, which is actually pretty nifty. It's just a little search thing that comes up there. And this is location. I'm not going to press that because it would give away my bat cave. So let's click on new tweet. And uh, you can see up here, you can either post it from Twitter or Facebook. Uh, now, it's like a little switch that you can just touch and it kind of slides down and that means you're posting from there. And you can post from both, too. Uh, so I will just post from Twitter because I don't want my Facebook friends getting annoyed at me. And I will tweet uh, reviewing tweet deck. Say hello. Smiley face. Now something I noticed on here um, the send button, it gets almost impossible to use when in uh, landscape mode, but if you just switch it back, it comes up with a nice big send button again. Um, you can add, that button doesn't do anything, that's just saying, hey, look down there. You can add pictures, you can take pictures, add your location, uh, you can add a contact. And as you can see on the top there, it just came down with uh, new updates, three unread updates. Uh, so let's post this, and I post very quickly gives you a thing that says updating status up there. And you can see it changes colors um, when you press home and the little dot changes colors so you can know, hey, if there's something there, let's scroll up. Censored. Um, so there you go, reviewing two decks, say hello, and some people will say hello eventually, if they like me or not. When you press menu, all you get is refresh, manage columns, uh, not columns, I guess, but pages accounts and quit. Uh, quit is the only way to quit it so the notifications stop until you open it again. Unfortunate, but that's just how it goes with these betas. When you go to manage columns, uh, you get home on me, which are at replies, I have them on, and direct messages. You can delete that column if you want. I have that on, and you can't add anything else.
which is a bummer. This application does not come with any widget, uh, which is unfortunate, but it is a beta. I keep saying that, I can't stress that enough. Beta, beta, beta. So let's just see if anybody wants a little moment of fame. If they said hello. Yes, some people said hello. So there you go. Um, now I will show you how to get this application from TweetDeck's website. So now as you can see, you can see my massive shoulders. Uh, I'm kidding. So when you're on this page, this is the first page I'm going to link you to. Um, it is uh, blog.tweetdeck.com slash tweetdeck on Android. Come and get it. Um, you will see in, you'll see the little thing I just read to you in the beginning of the video. And then you'll see in order to receive this beta, you must visit, click on that. What you do on here is you enter your, um, right over here, you enter your uh, TweetDeck credentials if you have an account or you can make an account over there. I entered mine and it will send you an email with the link to download uh, your application. Now this came in about 10 minutes for me. I've heard some people it still hasn't come, they entered it this morning, some people it comes instantly, it just, it's random. Now in the email you will see uh, how to install Android TweetDeck. Go into settings, select applications and enable unknown sources. That's so you can add an unknown source. And then you just click on this link and it is basically just a direct mirror to download it and download super quickly. You can either plug in your phone. I used uh, I used Dropbox and just got it in there. That's how you get it. So I am Carlos Graves. I didn't say that yet. Uh, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Carlos Graves, as you see there. Uh, always like new followers. Ask me as many questions as you want. I always answer. Um, and here you can see reviewing TweetDeck. Say hello. I will see you guys in the next video. That's very close up. You can't see the piece.